Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark Donaghy. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing at Raptor Photonics. A lot of time developing uh, in-gas based cameras. And we're now one of the leading companies in the world um, offering both SWIR and visible SWIR cameras in a, different, in a range of different formats and resolutions, uh, pixel pitches, um, in terms of noise performance and cooling. So we offer a broad range of uh, camera solutions, which you can see on our website. And we're working with companies uh, like Quantum Design, who are our partner in the UK and Ireland, uh, to uh, enable us to get our cameras in front of researchers, uh, instrumentation companies, OEMs, who are using our cameras to good effect and getting some fantastic results. I'm going to tell you a little bit this morning about a new application note that we have published on our website, which is called In Vivo Imaging in NIR2, or as we like to call it, short wave infrared. Uh, from 600 to 1700 nanometers. So why is this important? Um, Non-invasive fluorescent imaging of small animals has been a technique widely used for years, uh, but traditionally this has been done in the visible stroke near infrared window. And there are limitations to that um, in terms of light scattering and in terms of autofluorescence. Uh, meaning there's not very much depth of imaging, depth of resolution. But over the last few years, there's been a huge uh, body of research into developing um, probes, dyes, quantum dots, rare earth nanoparticles, carbon nanotubules, uh, which emit in short wave infrared wavelengths. This has enabled, uh, when introduced into in vivo, uh, cell imaging, uh, which has allowed uh, much better resolution and much better depth resolution uh, up to one centimeter. But to do so uh, requires a very good SWIR optimized camera. And luckily at Raptor, we have a very good uh, uh, selection of SWIR and visible SWIR cameras. And we've worked closely with a, uh, an OEM in the west coast of the US who've developed a small animal imaging system uh, using our uh, Ninox 642 visible SWIR camera. Using SWIR optimized dyes that this company has developed itself, um, they've developed this cabinet, which enables both NIR1 and NIR2 windows um, to observe uh, in vivo imaging in small animals. So why did they select Raptor? Well, they tested several SWIR cameras and concluded that the Ninox 642 uh, was best suited to their needs in terms of covering both visible and SWIR wavelengths. Um, it's a cooled camera. Obviously, they were uh, integrating for periods of time, so they needed a cooled to minus 15 degrees camera. Um, they needed a very sensitive camera. Uh, with low noise and uh, luckily they selected uh, the IL-642. So the app note really goes into a little bit more detail about the setup and about the requirements of the company and shows that what we've come up with together is a very nice and elegant solution. So please go to raptorphotonics.com to download the app note and if you have any questions about the IL or the Ninox 642, uh, please contact sales at raptorphotonics.com um, and we will be delighted to hear from you and get back to you with more details. We are hoping to do a more in-depth webinar on this whole area of uh, the NIR2 window and in vivo imaging later in the year, and we'll work with our customers and our researchers to gather more data to make it more of a, uh, a more broader reaching webinar with more material. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.